CES has become the hot show for automakers to show off what's in store for the future, be it purely conceptual or at least partially grounded in reality. Honda is using the Las Vegas show to unveil the future direction for its take on the electric vehicle. This new line of vehicles will be called the Zero Series and a pair of concepts show where Honda is heading. Honda says it wants to begin moving away from the idea that an EV has to be a thick, heavy vehicle. The CEO of Honda says it will create a completely new value from zero based on thin, light, and wise as the foundation for our Honda Zero EV series. Lightness is something the EV space has needed and it was only a matter of time until automakers began figuring out how to make that notion work in reality. The Zero series starts with a pair of concepts, the saloon and the space hub. With the saloon, Honda is actually giving us a preview of the first production model in this family. The goal of the saloon is to show how well Honda hopes to deliver a machine that pairs a truly spacious interior with one that still allows the driver to feel a connection to the car. At least that's the goal. Honda claims the production version of the saloon will deliver a joyous driving experience. I will say that the exterior has a very cool near future aesthetic, but will the tech add up to Honda's vision of what the Zero Series will provide for its drivers and passengers? Honda's quick to point out that this lineup will focus on design advancement, higher levels of an automated driving capability, more connected tech, and more important, a greater level of battery performance and efficiency. Automatic driving features will start to roll out in the latter part of the 2020s. The first Zero Series vehicle will land in 2026. With it, we can expect a lighter package with respect to the battery and motors. The Zero Series will make use of Honda's e-axles, which Honda says is part of the driving force of this lighter setup. Still, Honda is saying that Zero Series vehicles will be able to charge from 15 to 80% in just 10 to 15 minutes. Quick. Certainly, as the fastest charger out there, the Lucid Air takes about 20 minutes to do the same. I think the bigger questions will revolve around the range available to the driver and the actual curb weight figures at play as well. The aerodynamic design coupled with the e-axle packaging could deliver solid range, but it's all just guesswork at the moment. The other concept Honda is showing off is called the Space Hub. Honda isn't saying much more about this one other than the fact that it's built around the principles important to the Zero Series and can accommodate a variety of passengers to become a hub that connects people to others in the world around them. I honestly don't know what that means beyond the potential for this to be a kind of cool autonomous minibus of sorts. I'm down with the name and the interior looks nice. But the saloon is the one we need to pay the most attention to since Honda says the production version will arrive for the North American market in 2026. One last note, Honda has a new H-Mark that's debuted at CES. This design is specifically for future EV models. It looks fine, but I still really like the spelled out Honda treatment applied to the Prolog model. But as the name of that one implies, it will be a first step for Honda, while the Zero Series is what's to come.